The solar panel project, it is basically about uh, using uh, the light from the, from the sun. We are converting it into electrical energy and then we can use it to power anything that we want. Uh, it's not polluting the environment in any way. It's not producing any harmful gases to the environment. It's just eco-friendly. It's an eco-friendly uh, kind of uh, project. I was introduced to this program by uh, the marketing department of uh, New Era College. They called me to tell me that uh, there is a solar panel project which was being done in Mebala Youth Studios which they wanted us to be part of. So they were actually telling me, inviting me to come over and do the project. We have a long-standing relationship with Mibala's Youth Studios. So we have known them for some time. There was a German um, intern working with them who brought us in touch. So we visited them and um, we were very happy with the job they did with the young people in the community, teaching them entrepreneurship. So we became, in a way, fans of Mibala Youth Studios. Uh, and then, you know, one thing just uh, brought us to the next one, and that's how this uh, project came into being. We wanted to go green. Actually, we wanted to move away from PPC power and supply the whole complex with solar. Uh, as the German Embassy, we provided the funding for the project um, from our so-called small-scale project fund. We um, provided 400,000 Pula and this was used for the procurement and the installation of solar panels for the Mipala Youth Studios Centre. I was advised to uh, work with uh, uh, some students from New Era um, who are just about to graduate in the engineering courses. And uh, since I've been an instructor before, uh, then I got very excited and happy to have a new uh, students to, 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 to actually uh, you know learn about more about this uh, solar uh, systems and the solar project. The classes were actually held uh, every day for a week. The, the project was actually conducted for a period of uh, two weeks, three weeks actually. The whole community got involved and we had students from New Era who came on board. We had about uh, I think Nine, if I'm not mistaken. When I started solar, I, uh, I was very interested. I wanted to learn a lot of things. These students were very excited. More so that uh, we started briefly with a, a short training before we, we did really hands-on on, on actually laying up of panels and the batteries and inverters. The first day, we're actually being taught everything about solar that we wanted to know. The second, we actually taught about business. They were actually telling us like how to market a business when you start with a business, how to analyze a business, uh, what are the factors to consider when you want to start a business, and how to to keep it running. Then the third day was also back to the, the solar projects as well. It was just alternating between solar and, and business. What I find especially empowering about this project for the youth is that it is not only showcasing the use of solar energy in Botswana, but it is also providing hands-on training for young people from the community and TVET students from New Era College who got a first-hand experience of what it means to install a system, to make it operational. What I actually liked about the program was that it was very interactive. You were actually free to do anything, even the, the, the hands-on thing. We were actually the ones who were doing it most of the time. They got so excited when we jumped into uh, the actual practical work, whereby uh, putting up the panels, climbing the roof, you know, laying of, of, of pipes, conduits, cabling, wiring, and they, they were still hungry for more. And I could see them still coming back to me, you know, uh, because we have a WhatsApp group that we keep on communicating each and every day about the performance of the system. And additionally on this, uh, we have uh, a system monitoring app that keeps uh, recording, or keeps uh, sending signals on how the system is performing. You can read the whole day's uh, performance of the system. What is important about this project is that 
It's not only a um, solar project put on a roof somewhere by a company. The students from New Era College, they did it. So they were not sitting in their college only doing theoretical things, but they were coming and installing the panels and learning about uh, uh, solar energy and being solar engineers, so to speak. With the knowledge that I've gained from this project, I intend to become a solar installer because it's a very good form of energy. People might say it's expensive, but I might say that it's worth it. Uh, if you look at it in, a, in the long run, you do not spend much compared to using electricity from the grid. I'm very happy that the project was implemented so fast. Actually, the system is up and running. It is providing sustainable electricity for the center at Mubala Youth Studios. And I think this is a first very um, good result that we can be happy about. We also try to lead by example. We have solar uh, panels uh, on the roof of the German residence. And uh, half of the energy we need at the residence is actually provided by the sun. And uh, we get it for free. It reduces our energy bill and we know that we do something uh, to protect the environment. If many companies or organizations would go the same way that uh, Nibala did, I think it would benefit the uh, nation as a whole by empowering the local communities, the students and also green energy. When you get lemon, make lemonade out of it. That's what the statement usually says. If it's hot, then use solar and use it to your advantage.